In this movie, I want to show you one of the coolest tools in Pro Tools. So this is called the Time Compression and Expansion Trimmer, or the TCE Trimmer. We know that the regular trimmer lives in this box here, and then this little arrow says there's more trimmers down there. The TCE is the one just under it. F6 will scroll you through those various trimmers. Just like we had the separation grabber over here included in the Smart Tool, we're going to take the TCE trimmer here and include it in the Smart Tool. So I still want to be able to use the various tools depending on where I put the cursor. That's the whole idea behind the Smart Tool. Let me zoom just a bit, take a look at a little more waveform here. There's a style of performance in voice acting, and you can't tell where the announcer took a breath. Because Let's say that not only do we want this thing to be a little frantic because there are no breaths, but we want to speed up the pace of the announcer. If I have a regular trimmer and I go to the center line, I get the trimmer. If I have the TCE trimmer, I get this icon. Now, if I have the regular trimmer, by clicking and dragging this way, I would be shortening what I'm actually listening to. I'd be changing the amount of words that I listened to before I got to the end of this clip. Not so with the time compression trimmer. It's going to take the entire length of this clip and just make it shorter. So let me grab this. The overall length right now is just under five seconds. So let's speed it up about 20%. Bring it to about four seconds and see what it sounds like. There's a style of performance in voice acting, and you can't tell where the announcer took a breath because the script, there's a style of performance in voice acting, and you, I'm in loop playback, and we'll get to that later on. That's about a 20% speed increase. It made new audio. It did a time shift. And if we look in the clip bin, we can see that the original audio is here. And now it's created a new time shifted version. Pro Tools did a little render window. So let's take the next little piece here and choose somewhere in that area and watch as it processes audio and then gives us a new audio file in the clip bin. So let me close that. It is written in such a way that you're following the announcer's stream of consciousness, and when the announcer runs out of breath, you may be thinking, well, it can speed up. Can it slow down? It certainly can, although creatively, that's probably not where we want this piece to go. But let's take this shorter one here. The performer never actually... Let's drag it out. The performer never actually takes a breath. If your job was to turn this into a sort of drug-induced piece, then you're there. The performer... So what we're hearing there is granular synthesis. Pro Tools stretches this piece, but it has to kind of make up the audio that goes in between the peaks because it wasn't actually spoken that way. But we did take it over the line. Let me undo that. And let's take it out a little bit. So it's two and a half seconds now. Let's take it to three and a half. The performer never actually takes a breath. The results of making it longer are a bit different than the results of shortening it. By shortening it, it can go in and take things out. Lengthening it, it has to put things in. It has to create things. And your results are going to vary depending on the quality of the input that you give it. Later on, we'll see the Elastic plugin, which actually lets you change the internal timing of certain words inside the performance. But the TCE trimmer is great for retiming an entire clip. 